Hey guys, it's Rami from Rami Tech, and uh, first thing, I want to give a shout out to White Chatter Productions for creating that intro graphic for me. Um, Michael runs the page, really cool guy, personal friend of mine. You guys should definitely check out his channel. We have a collaboration video together. But now into this video. So I'm all about making my iPad as productive as I can for schoolwork and anything else that I would use it for. So I looked up how to make it like a second monitor for my MacBook, and this also works for the PC. And the app was called Duet. It seemed like the best one. It requires a wired connection. There's some alternatives that are wireless. However, those ones apparently have more lag, according to reviews, and aren't as good. So I went ahead and downloaded Duet, rated very highly, and I read a bunch of reviews on it. Looks good. It costs $19.99, a bit pricey. But I said it's going to be worth it if this thing really acts as a good second monitor. Rather than going and paying for something I don't have, I can just use the iPad I already have for an extra $20 as a second screen while I'm doing work on my computer. And I always run out of screen space and it gets annoying and I have to close tabs and now I can just continuously do it. I have two screens now to run things on and it's really nice. So the way you set it up is you open it up on the iPad and then it's very self-explanatory. You just install the app, open it, and it tells you to connect to your Mac. Then on the MacBook, you gotta go to duetdisplay.com, I'm sorry, or on the PC, whichever computer you have, and then you down, at the top it says download for Mac or download for PC. Click that, download the zip file, very self-explanatory instructions to install. Then you can install it. So then once they're plugged in, Duet shows up in the toolbar of your Mac, or um, if it's on the PC, probably at the bottom, I'm not exactly sure, I haven't used the PC in a while. But then you can uh, edit all the settings for how it's going to display. You can make it a mirror of your own screen or treat it as a second display that acts independently and gives you more screen space. So the options are pretty cool. You can play around with it a little bit. You can reconfigure it, which I'm going to show you guys right now because actually when I installed it, the it believed that my iPad was on the right of my screen when really it was on the left. So right there you can see you can pick the screen. It highlights which one you're talking about and then you can move it to where it where they're oriented so that it works properly and fluidly. So I obviously moved mine to the left because that's where my iPad is. So <clears throat> right here I show you guys I opened up Google Chrome dragged it over to the left and you can see that there is a little bit of lag with Duet at least this time. It's not always so bad but I notice when I'm opening a web browser on the iPad screen it kind of loads like that. It normally doesn't take this long though and sometimes if you kind of just click around on it with the arrow, it will load. But after that, it's actually really fluid and smooth. So I look up my own channel here and I demonstrate a video playing on the iPad's display. And it runs really well and really smooth for it being not the actual display wired to the computer. And it works better than a lot of people might think because this kind of is like a makeshift monitor. You're just downloading an app to get it to work. But it's engineered really well and works really like simply I should say because all you do is plug in your um, your charging cable into your Mac or, uh, or PC and it just works after you have the Duet client on your computer and the Duet application on your iPad all for twenty dollars so audio still comes out of the MacBook and is controlled from the MacBook because the iPad is just acting as a screen it doesn't use its speakers unfortunately but so you can have the video playing there and do whatever you want on the Mac or vice versa you can use the iPad screen as the main one but the, as you can see the video was running really smoothly and it works super well together <clears throat> so something else you could do is open up Microsoft Word which I do here put it on either display I decide to put it on the iPad's display and then you can open up your web browser and do research or anything else. You can edit a video on one of the screens or even uh, edit a photo in like GIMP or Photoshop. You could even have Microsoft Word and PowerPoint on each screen if you were writing a paper and creating a presentation at the same time. The possibilities honestly are endless and once I start to apply this, um, this app more, and use it more to be productive and do stuff as a student and even um, work based or personal things I'll keep you guys up to date on how I'm doing that so here I wanted to demonstrate using the web browser in um, on the iPad screen so the keyboard doesn't pop up when you use it because it's just I think as a, as a display not an iPad 
but you can uh, just use total touchscreen on it. But you have to use the gestures, so two fingers to scroll, one finger to click or drag. But yeah, so here you can see me just playing around with um, my YouTube page with uh, just the iPad without using the mouse or anything. You just have to use the keyboard to type in words. So hopefully you guys thought this was as cool as I did. And I hope to have brought this to light for many people that didn't know about it because personally I didn't until I th thought to look it up. So thanks for watching guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.